Yes, lads, and welcome back to the Southampton career mode. And this episode's a big one because we've got the Conference League, we've got Galatasaray and Bromby. But first of all, we're against Chelsea in the Premier League. Like, this month is not that difficult. I feel like we could get some big, big, big points this episode. And this is going to be the start and level against Chelsea. If I, I don't think we're going to get three points. I don't think we're going to get one point. But if we can get a single point from this game, then I will go back to Southampton. A very, very happy man. Come on, Southampton. As expected, we did lose 2 0. Reese James and. Mm, Lukaku. And this is going to be the start and level against Galatasaray. I'm not too sure if they'll be good or not. So I'm going to have to use a, a, a somewhat strong team. But, but looking at their starting 11, apart from Van Aanholt and Musleda, it's a bit rubbish. But you know what, that's good because then we'll win. Let's go back to Villa with three points in the Conference League. Let's go Southampton. Big, big first game is needed. We need three points to just to ease ourselves in, into the Conference League. First ever European competition at Southampton. Well, for me. We need to get three points. So I feel like we can. But I, I need to play it smart. Yes, for Lindstrom. Okay. I would have rather just, like, went through on goal. But you know what? I'll see this. Come on. Ah. Come on, Jesper. Jesper Lindstrom. There we go. First goal at the Conference League is, of course, Jesper Lindstrom. Let's go. Oh. Jesper Lindstrom. Let's go. Two goals for the club. Two goals for Jesper Lindstrom. Let's go. Oh, that might be a red. Okay. <laughs> Say this. Yes, but Lindstrom can't get two goals and then get sent off. What a shot, man. Can't take any of anything away from that. That's just a very, very good shot. But hopefully we don't bottle it now. Because we've, we've not been good the second half at all. Ever since I took, I've been, bought Jekyll on, funnily enough, we've been shit. Oh, what a pass! Okay, 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 okay. We have to, we have to defend well now. Why, why, why are we like this? Why is every team I manage like this? Why am I like this? Why, why do I play well until the last ten minutes of the game? Adam Armstrong to Fernando. Over to the other team. But it doesn't matter. Just blow the whistle. Thank you. Finally, he's blowing the whistle on time. We're not even on time. It's still one minute and a half over time. But you know what? We won the game, so I don't mind. I would have loved the clean sheet, but obviously, clean sheets just don't happen when I'm playing this game. And this is the start in 11 against Aston Villa. I really, really do feel like we could beat Aston Villa. Their team doesn't look that good. They've got Chambers at CDM. Dinier at centre-back. I do feel like we could win this game. We don't win it, but we do get a point. Iago Aspas with a brace low, so that's always nice. He's been a bit, you know, stinky. But you know what? Getting a point is not too bad against a team that last season we probably would have lost about 5-0 to. And this will be the starting level against Luton. It's a bit of a weaker team, but funny enough, it's only Luton. So we've went, some, we've went with Ricardo Rodriguez, the new signing. So hopefully, obviously I don't mind if we do lose. Mainly because that just means we have less games and less worry about injuries. But you know what? If we could win the EFL Cup again, I wouldn't mind it. And we go through only by one goal though, but it's Broja. So you know what? I'll take that. Obviously I would have loved like a 5-0, 6-0. But you know what? A win is a win at the end of the day. We're through to the next round. And this will be the start and level against Fulham. We really, really need to win this game. Just because I feel like if we draw or lose, we're going to be falling behind the top 10. So we have to win this game. I went with Kareem Adeyemi at right cam. Just because Harrison Haynes is a little bit tired. Because he did play against Luton. But hopefully, away to Fulham at Craven Cottage, we can get three points. Come on, Southampton. Big, big game needed away from home. We're, we're amazing at home. We've won most of our games at home this season. But we need to start performing on the, on the, on the journey. 
And if Kareem Adeyemi is the person to do that, I do not mind. I'm out of, come on, Adam. It's Yago Aspas. Back to Lindstrom. Back to Adeyemi. Adeyemi! Let's go. Just like I said five seconds prior, if Adeyemi is the person who scores and starts the journey, I do not mind. It was a messy one. It was a sweaty one. But you know what? It's a goal. So I do not care. That was nothing like Adeyemi. Just get the ball away. Stop putting pressure on ourselves for one second of the match. Fuck's sake. Come on, this is our last chance of the half. Adeyemi. Oh, fuck's sake, man. No. Fucking shit. I'm fucking making so many subs. I've had enough of half of this team already. Fernando's coming off because he's fucking tired. Haynes has to come on. Haynes has to come on. I'm sorry, but Iago Aspas up top is like using a wheelchair kid up top. He moves a bit slowly. He's probably not going to get on the end of the ball. Come on, Adam. Get in the box. Harrison Haynes! Haynes again! Oh. Harrison Haynes, come on. Harrison Haynes, my guy! Yes! Come on! What a finish. What an absolute, absolute finish. I want to watch that one again. That was a dead ball off the top of the bar. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That means the world to me. Harrison Haynes. The youth player. The player that I have brought up. Is making a difference. Come on. Come on, Adeyemi. Back to Jesper Lindstrom. Jesper Lindstrom! Let's go, man. Come on. Jesper Lindstrom and Harrison Haynes and Adeyemi. Come on, man. This is exactly what I need in the second half. Who needs Iago Aspas? And you've got Kareem Adeyemi. We've got so much space in the middle here. Come on, Haynes. Harrison Haynes for the second goal of the match. Harrison Haynes. Joe! Let's go. Harrison Haynes on the assist. Thiago Jallo. Come on. Let's go. That is perfect for me. And the passing play is just beautiful. Come on, Adeyemi. Adeyemi, Kareem, Adeyemi, 5-1, let's go, this is exactly what I needed, I said I needed a win so we don't fall away from the top 10, and that is exactly what we have done, we have won, we have obliterated, not just like beating them like 2-0, 2-1, we have obliterated Fulham at home, at, well away, but Fulham at home. Five goals. Harrison Haynes, Adeyemi, and Jesper Lindstrom just coming together just to make the perfect attacking lineup. Just blow the whistle. There we go. 5 1. That is amazing. We have, in two games, we've scored 10 goals this season. The first game and this game. Come on. And this is going to be the start and level against Bromby. It's well, it's at Bromby, but I reckon with, with, we we have, we do have a bit of a, a bit of a weaker team. But that's because we have got Burnley in four days. But come on, come on, Southampton, we can always win this game. Come on, we do draw it two goals in two minutes. But it was Harrison Haynes who scored for us. I mean, that makes us still top of the group stage. But I would have much, much, much rather preferred to win that game. But yes. As it is the end of the month, you know what that is. It's the end of the episode. We're in the top six. Out of the nine pointers, we have the most goal difference. Newcastle are doing well. But let's just check who we have to play next month. So obviously it's Burnley, Crystal Palace, Basel, Man City, Everton and Brentford. It's a bit of, it's a, bit of a, harder, a, a harder month, but you know what? We can, we can live with that. We can definitely live with that. We just beat Fulham 5-1. So 
So Burnley, you better be ready for us. But I'll see you all next time in October when we play against Burnley, Man City and another Conference League match. I'll see you all next time with a 98 manager rating. I'll see you all next time.